Anti-Mullerian Hormone Test The test measures a hormone called anti-Mullerian hormone level in human serum, and also known as Mullerian inhibiting factor. It is glycoprotein hormone which consists of two identical subunits linked by sulfide bridges. Molar mass of 140 kilo Dalton. During development of male fetus, the AMH protein is produced and released by cells of the testes. The secreted AMH protein binds to its receptor which is found on the surface of Mullerian duct cells. The Mullerian duct found in both male and female fetuses is the precursor to the female reproductive organs. Binding of the AMH protein to its receptor induces self-destruction of the Mullerian duct cells. As a result, the Mullerian duct breaks down in males. In females, who do not produce the AMH protein during fetal development, the Mullerian duct becomes the uterus and fallopian tubes. In males, AMH is generated within cells in the testes. These cells are called it as Sertoli cells. AMH hormone is very important during the development of the male fetus as it is essential for the formation of male reproductive organs. AMH is detectable at birth in males and levels rise rapidly in infancy. After puberty, the levels of AMH decline in men. But in females, small amounts of AMH are produced by developing follicles in the ovaries. At birth and in childhood, the level of AMH in girls is very low but increases significantly at puberty, reaching a peak in early adulthood. In women, with age, number of follicles decreases so the level of AMH declines and becomes undetectable after the menopause. It is reflect the declining ovarian function, ovarian reserve. Let's see what is this ovarian reserve. Ovarian reserve is a term that is used to determine the capacity of the ovary to provide ovum that are capable of fertilization resulting in a healthy and successful pregnancy. Women who are 35 years or older who have attempted to get pregnant unsuccessfully for six months should undergo testing for ovarian reserve. This image shows the age-related decline of AMH levels in women. Why AMH is considered as good marker to access the ovarian reserve compare with other reproductive hormones. You can have an AMH test at any point during your menstrual cycle. Unlike other reproductive hormones, AMH doesn't fluctuate much throughout the month. Circadian variation of the AMH is also very low compared with FSH and LH. Adult granulosa cell tumor of the ovary is a rare type of ovarian tumor that originates from ovarian sex cord stromal cells and represents approximately 3 to 5% of malignant ovarian tumors. Both serum inhibin and anti-mullerian hormone are elevated in patients with granulosa cell tumor and can be used as tumor markers for diagnosing granulosa cell tumor. However, AMH is a more valuable diagnostic tool as its elevation is constant throughout the menstrual cycle. AMH test is also used for the management of women with endometriosis. Surgical excision and thermal ablation carry potential risks for the ovarian reserve either by removal of normal ovarian tissue during excision or by thermal damage to the ovarian cortex during ablation. Pre-operative AMH assessment is done to evaluate ovarian reserve and choose proper treatment protocol. And also post-operative AMH assessment is also done to assess the side effects on ovarian reserve of cancer treatment. Patient's preparation and sample collection. A blood sample taken from the vein in your arm or from a heel prick in an infant. No test preparation is needed. are interested in my video creation like this video feel free to give your comment please subscribe us on youtube